What would you do if one of your loved ones vanished without a trace? Imagine, if you will, the tranquility of a small town in St. Joseph, Minnesota, on a chilly evening in October 1989. A quiet town where everyone knows everyone. A safe haven where children could play freely without worry. But on the 22nd of that October, something unthinkable happened that would forever shatter this tranquility. Jacob Wetterling, a cheerful 11-year-old boy, was out biking with his younger brother and a friend. They were returning from a simple trip to the local convenience store, an innocent endeavor that turned into a nightmare. From the shadows of a driveway, a masked man emerged, brandishing a gun. The boys were ordered to abandon their bikes and lie face down on the ground, their hearts pounding with terror. One by one, the man asked each boy his age, inspecting their faces with a cold, calculating gaze. Then with a chilling command, he told Jacob's brother and friend to run into the woods without looking back. He threatened them with harm if they dared to disobey. So, they ran for their lives, leaving behind their friend and brother. When they finally dared to look back, Jacob was gone. Just like that, an ordinary evening turned into a horrifying ordeal. Jacob's disappearance was not just a personal tragedy for his family, but a jarring event that sent shockwaves through the community and beyond. As Jacob's brother and friend ran for safety, they left behind a mystery that would baffle investigators for nearly three decades. A mystery that would ignite one of the most extensive child abduction investigations in United States history. A mystery that would inspire a national movement for child safety and lead to systemic changes in how missing children cases are handled. But at that moment, all that lay ahead was an overwhelming sense of confusion, fear, and the desperate hope for Jacob's safe return. In the wake of such an unthinkable event, a massive search operation was launched. The local law enforcement sprang into action, their efforts soon bolstered by the expertise of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This wasn't just a local tragedy, it was a national crisis. An 11-year-old boy had vanished, seemingly into thin air, on a quiet, chilly October evening. The magnitude of this investigation was unprecedented. It wasn't just about finding Jacob. It was about restoring the shattered sense of safety and security of a small town, a state, a nation. A collective gasp had been drawn and everyone was holding their breath, waiting, hoping, praying for Jacob's safe return. Despite the scale of the search, the national attention, and the tireless efforts of countless volunteers, leads were frustratingly scarce. Each potential clue seemed to dissolve into a dead end every promising lead, a road to nowhere. The case of Jacob Wetterling became a perplexing puzzle, a mystery that seemed to resist every attempt to unravel it. But it wasn't just the law enforcement agencies that were digging for the truth. The community rallied, their hope for Jacob's safe return burning like a beacon in the darkest night. The small town of St. Joseph became a symbol of resilience and unity in the face of tragedy. Meanwhile, Jacob's parents, Patty and Jerry Wetterling, found themselves thrust into a heartbreaking role they never asked for. They became the face of a national movement, advocates for missing and exploited children. Their tireless efforts to find their son became a beacon of hope for other families facing similar unimaginable situations. Yet, as the days turned into weeks, months, and then years, the mystery remained unsolved. The boy who left for a bike ride and never came home remained missing. The questions remained unanswered. The puzzle remained incomplete. Despite the scale of the investigation, Jacob remained missing, and his family's search for answers continued. A small town, a nation held its breath, hoping against hope that one day the mystery would be solved and the boy would be found. With no significant breakthrough, the years began to roll by, but Jacob's family never stopped searching. As the months turned into years, and years into decades, the case of Jacob Wetterling took on an air of mystery that was as chilling as it was confounding. Theories swirled, suspects came and went, but none ever led to a significant breakthrough. The case seemed to be stuck in a grim stalemate, a haunting reminder of a boy vanished into thin air. Theories ranged from the plausible to the downright bizarre. Some suggested Jacob had been taken by a stranger passing through town. Others proposed he'd been abducted by an organized crime ring or even fallen victim to a satanic cult. Each theory was meticulously investigated, each lead pursued with relentless determination. Yet, each time, investigators found themselves back at square one. The specter of Jacob's disappearance refused to yield its secrets. Throughout this time, suspects were identified, only to later be cleared. 
One by one they emerge from the shadows, casting long, ominous silhouettes that only serve to deepen the mystery. Some were local residents with questionable pasts, others were strangers with suspicious behaviors. Each suspect ignited a spark of hope, a hope that was quickly extinguished when they were eventually ruled out. The elusive truth seemed to be always just out of reach. In the midst of this despair, Jacob's parents, Patty and Jerry Wetterling, became tireless advocates for missing and exploited children. They transformed their personal tragedy into a crusade for change, pushing for systemic reforms and better protocols to handle missing children cases. They started the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center, focusing on child safety education and supporting families of missing children. They stood as pillars of strength, their faces etched with determination, their eyes filled with an unwavering hope. Their advocacy work was more than just a fight for justice for their son. It was a beacon of hope for other families in their darkest hours, a beacon that shone brightly in the face of adversity. They refused to let despair overtake them, choosing instead to channel their pain into action. Jacob's parents became beacons of hope in a sea of despair, never ceasing in their efforts to find their son. Their resilience, their courage, and their unwavering hope serve as a testament to the power of love in the face of unimaginable loss. Then, almost 27 years after Jacob's disappearance, a significant break in the case emerged. Out of the blue, a man named Danny Heinrich, who had been a person of interest early in the investigation, found himself under arrest. However, these were not charges directly linked to Jacob's case. Heinrich was facing the grim prospect of a long prison sentence for unrelated charges. In this pressure cooker situation, something unexpected happened. Heinrich, seemingly out of options, decided to come clean. He made a confession that would send shockwaves through the community and indeed the entire country. Heinrich admitted to abducting Jacob Vetterling on that fateful October evening in 1989. But the confession didn't stop there. He also confessed to sexually assaulting the 11-year-old boy, a revelation that added a new layer of horror to an already tragic story. But the most shocking part of Heinrich's confession was yet to come. He admitted to murdering Jacob Wetterling. This was the piece of the puzzle that had eluded investigators for nearly three decades. As the weight of this confession sank in, the realization that Jacob would never return home was a bitter pill for the community and the nation to swallow. But there was one more twist in this tale. Heinrich, perhaps in a bid to atone for his heinous actions, or perhaps just hoping for a more lenient sentence, agreed to lead authorities to Jacob's remains. The location he pointed out was a remote, undisclosed site, far removed from the prying eyes of the world. It was here, in this desolate place, that the physical evidence of Jacob's tragic end was finally discovered. Heinrich's confession, as shocking as it was, brought a certain degree of closure to this long-standing mystery. It answered the haunting question that had been on everyone's minds for almost three decades. What happened to Jacob Wetterling? Even though the answer was a heartbreaking one, it provided a sense of finality to a case that had seemed to be stuck in a perpetual state of uncertainty. A confession that brought a somber closure to a mystery that had haunted the Wetterling family and the nation for almost three decades. The resolution of Jacob Wetterling's case marked the end of a long, heart-wrenching journey. Yet the profound reverberations of this case continue to echo through our society, shaping how we address child safety and the justice system's approach to sex offenses. Jacob's disappearance sparked a nationwide conversation on child safety, leading to significant legislative changes. One of the landmark outcomes was the Jacob Wetterling Crimes Against Children and Sexually Violent Offender Registration Act, passed in 1994. This groundbreaking act mandated states to establish registries for sex offenders and crimes against children, fundamentally altering how sex offenders are tracked in the United States. Another crucial law forged in the wake of this case was the National Child Search Assistance Act of 1990. This law abolished waiting periods for law enforcement to begin investigations into missing child cases, ensuring immediate action in future incidents. The tragic loss of Jacob Wetterling catalyzed these systemic changes, promising prompt response and action in the face of child disappearances. In addition to these legislative strides, the Wetterling family channeled their grief into proactive advocacy. They established the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center, a beacon of support and education in the realm of child safety. The center tirelessly works to educate on child safety, provide resources, and support families of missing children. Jacob's mother, Patty Wetterling, emerged as a national advocate for missing children. 
she has persistently emphasized the power of hope and action in the face of tragedy. Her relentless advocacy work has brought child safety to the forefront of national consciousness, inspiring and empowering communities across the nation. The Jacob Wetterling case is a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities children face and the profound impact of crime on families and communities. It underscores the importance of vigilance, education, and swift action when it comes to missing child cases. In the face of unimaginable tragedy, the Wetterling family turned their pain into action, sparking nationwide changes that continue to protect children today. The legacy of Jacob Wetterling lives on not just in the memory of a boy who was tragically taken too soon, but in the enduring impact of the changes his case brought about. Jacob Wetterling's case is more than just a solved crime. It's a legacy, a legacy of hope, resilience, and tireless advocacy. At the heart of this legacy is Patty Wetterling, a mother turned national advocate for missing children. Her journey, which began in the midst of personal tragedy, has since evolved into a mission of hope and action. When Jacob was taken, Patty Wetterling was just another mother in a small Minnesota town. But the horrifying ordeal that unfolded over the next 27 years transformed her into a beacon of hope for families across the nation. She refused to let Jacob's story fade into obscurity, choosing instead to channel her grief into advocacy. Patty, alongside her husband Jerry, founded the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center. This organization has been instrumental in educating communities about child safety, and providing aid to families of missing children. But Patty's work didn't stop at the community level. She took her mission to the corridors of power, advocating for legal changes to improve the way missing children cases are handled. Her tireless efforts led to the enactment of the Jacob Wetterling Crimes Against Children and Sexually Violent Offender Registration Act in 1994. This act, named in honor of her son, fundamentally changed how sex offenders are tracked in the United States. Patty Wetterling's legacy, rooted in the love for her son, has rippled outwards, touching countless lives and shaping national policies. She has shown us that even in the face of unthinkable tragedy, it's possible to forge a path of hope and action. But perhaps the most enduring message from Patty Wetterling is one of hope. Through her work, she has continually emphasized the importance of maintaining hope, even in the darkest of times. She's a testament to the power of hope, a beacon guiding us through the storm. The legacy of Jacob Wetterling reminds us of the profound impact of crime on families and communities and the power of hope in the face of tragedy. The story of Jacob Wetterling is one that has touched many lives. It's a narrative that unfolded over nearly three decades, painted with hues of hope and despair, of community strength and systemic weaknesses, of a family's unwavering love and a nation's collective heartbreak. Jacob's abduction on that chilly October night in 1989 sent ripples through the small town of St. Joseph, Minnesota, and beyond. It launched one of the most extensive child abduction investigations in U.S. history, a search that would last 27 long years. Despite the passage of time, the hope for Jacob's safe return never wavered. His parents, Patty and Jerry Wetterling, tirelessly turned their personal tragedy into a beacon of light for other families facing the unthinkable. The confession of Danny Heinrich in 2016 brought a somber closure to the mystery, a heartbreaking end to the search for Jacob. Yet, it also sparked a much-needed conversation about child safety and catalyzed significant changes in the way missing children cases are handled. The Jacob Wetterling Crimes Against Children and Sexually Violent Offender Registration Act and the National Child Search Assistance Act are testaments to this impact, fundamentally transforming the landscape of child safety in the United States. Community played a pivotal role in this story. It was the community that rallied around the Wetterlings, offering support and strength. It was the community that turned their porch lights on, illuminating the path of hope in the darkest of times. The legacy of hope and change that the Wetterlings created in the wake of their son's disappearance is a testament to their resilience. The Jacob Wetterling Resource Center continues to educate and support, turning a tale of loss into a narrative of hope and action. Jacob's story reminds us all of the vulnerabilities children face and the importance of collective action in ensuring their safety. It's a story that continues to inspire change and instill hope in the hearts of many.